If you have subscribed to a VPN service, they might have provided an app to quickly connect to their VPN servers. However, if the app is not working as expected or you don't want to install an extra piece of software, here's a solution for you. Windows has an inbuilt feature that allows you to manually configure a VPN connection without any software. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to manually configure and connect to a VPN on Windows 11. To begin, open the Windows Settings app. Click on Networks and Internet. Go to the VPN page. To create a VPN profile, click on the Add VPN button. Select Windows built-in for the VPN provider. Give it a name to identify the VPN profile later. Now keep this window open. You will get the VPN server address and sign-in credentials from your VPN provider's website. As an example, I am using the Surfshark VPN. However, the steps would be similar for any VPN provider like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, etc. I'll just log in to the Surfshark website. Go to the manual VPN setup section. Choose which protocol you would like to use for a manual VPN configuration. We'll use IKE v2 which is considered one of the strongest and most stable VPN protocols. Here we get the username and password for manual VPN setup. You need to just copy them, then go to the settings app. From the type of sign in drop down, select username and password, then paste your credentials here. Next, go to the Locations tab. Here, you get the list of all VPN servers. Select your preferred location. Copy the VPN server address and paste it here. Select the VPN type we are using which is IKE v2. Hit Save. The final step is to download the IKE v2 certificate for the VPN server and install it on your PC. Just double click the file and follow the steps to install the certificate on your computer. Now everything is set up, let's connect to the VPN server. As you can see, it's just working fine. Guys, I just added one VPN profile. If you want to switch between multiple locations, you have to add more VPN profiles like this. So following the same steps, I've added three more VPN servers. You can quickly connect or disconnect a VPN server from the taskbar. To remove a VPN profile, you need to first disconnect it, then click the remove button. If you encounter policy match error while connecting to a VPN server, you need to go to a registry tweak to solve the issue. Here's how to do that. 